Welcome, Aston, to the machine. Hey, let's play a fucking game here. Let's play just the tip. My timer out, the 30-second timer, so we can hit shuffle and try to find some good new rock and or metal or punk or whatever the fuck, man. Uh, let's go with the all-new metal playlist. Sometimes I kick myself for going into the metal realm because so much metal is extreme anymore, and it's just fucking uh, 100 miles an hour death metal things that I don't want to hear. I I really think I should come up with a good list of things I don't want to hear in rock and roll. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit I hear on the radio all the time. I'm over that stuff. Uh, I don't want to hear things getting pushed by the labels, man. <laughs> I want to hear the good new rock and metal that nobody uh, that is either getting popular uh, and it's, nobody's talking about it. Um or new to me, you know? So, we're going to go with all new metal. The Spotify playlist, if you know a good rock and or metal, a good new rock and or metal current playlist that gets updated, songs removed after they're not new anymore, send it my way, and I can add it to the Just the Tip game. So, 30 seconds, all new metal, hit and shuffle. Here we go. Let's play Just the Tip. Tell me. This is Corey Taylor. Esoterica. It did sound like Corey Taylor a little bit. Uh, name of the song is Firefly, and I'm enjoying it. So uh, we're going to sit with it. Winner out of the fucking gate, you guys. Let's start from the beginning and uh, continue with Esoteric. Esoterica. Okay, with Firefly. Fuck yeah. Tell me, are you tired? Like this is gonna get crushing, right? It's refreshing when I can hear when I hear a new metal band, or at least new to me, current rock and roll, current metal, whatever, that uh, uh, focuses on nuance and focuses on uh, just like songwriting. You know, that's probably the best way to put it. Just focusing on songwriting rather than pushing shit and uh, uh, the, focusing on melody. You know, <laughs> I think some bands are just like melody. You, what's that? Uh, well, it's fun. And uh, it's intriguing. And there's, again, refreshing when I hear new music that is making me kind of perk up and be like, oh, what's this? What's that? Also, real quick, a lot of elements of different bands. You know, I'm hearing uh, uh, some Deftones influence. I'm hearing... Uh, uh, some like either tool influence in there vocally, especially with the vibe. The deft tones are really, uh, it's really making me think deft tones. But uh, I'm hearing some Chevelle in there too, and I know a lot of people would 
you know, station vowel sounds like tool, but whatever. synthy stranger things sort of vibes to it that I like. Yeah, I like that song, man. Uh, again, refreshing. That's just the word that keeps coming to mind because it it doesn't sound like... The bands that come out and don't sound like they're part of the fucking current mainstream, man. And what I mean by that, mostly, is they don't have like the same production tricks. Uh, they don't sound... It, they, it won't sound dated, if you listen to it in like 20 or 30 years, hopefully. Like, I don't think that would sound dated to me. Uh, it would sound like, okay, it just sounds... There's so many bands, when you hear them now and they're stuck in an era, and it's hard for me to like listen to a lot of bands that are just basically stuck in an era because of like uh, production choices or whatever. Um, but I enjoy the shit out of that. Throw suggestions for that band, Esoterica, in the comment section. And uh, for sure, I'm going to give him a listen. I appreciated that, man. What the hell? Everything! Everything! 